Hi, my name is Martin from Inkjet, and I'm here to show you how to use the WIC reset utility which we have for resetting the waste counter on various Epson inkjet printers. Now we're assuming that you've actually downloaded the file, which is a zip file here, and we're going to show you how to extract it, run it, and um, use the tool to complete a reset. So what you need to do, once you've downloaded it, locate the file, and then right click and choose Extract All. Keep all defaults, make sure it's somewhere that you're going to be able to find it, and then click on Extract. This will then open up a folder where the utility has been extracted to, and you can now run it. Right. Assuming everything's okay, you will see the green bar at the bottom here where it will update uh, supported models, any news information, all the rest of it. If you're seeing an error here, it means you, this utility is probably being blocked from contacting the internet. Now, if that's happening, it's fine if you just want to read the waste ink counters, but if you want to do any resetting, you need to sort this out because it will not work. It needs to validate your key before it can proceed. Right, now as you can see at the moment we've got a, a Canon IP4600 at the moment um, and it's not actually recognizing our printer. Now one of the reasons for that is I haven't turned it on. So we'll turn that on. And then whenever you think the printer is actually ready, try clicking on Refresh and Detect Printers, which is here. Now as you can see, it's recognized our printer and a series of controls have come up. You'll notice the difference between 4600, which obviously isn't supported, and the XP600, which is. Um, if your printer isn't supported, but you think it should be, because it's in supported models, it's well worth um, shutting down the utility, check it, and then reloading it, sometimes as an update or similar. Right, as I said, in this particular instance, it is supported, so we can now read the waste ink counters. And as you can see here, our counter is particularly low, we don't need to reset it and that's indicated as much as anything by the green colour. Right, for the purposes of this uh, instruction video I'm actually going to reset the counter on this printer even though it doesn't actually need it. Now you'll notice as soon as I put in reset waste counter I enter a key and click OK. What the system is now doing is resetting the waste counters. Now this information here is particularly important. You need to turn your printer off as soon as the reset is complete. So I'm going to do that now. So we're going to now turn it back on because we've done that already. Now you'll also notice it's saying that you'll want to replace the waste pads or fit an external waste ink tank. Um, very important, pretty obvious really, the waste ink doesn't just disappear when you do a reset, it is still physically in the printer. So if you haven't already fitted something like a printer potty um, or replaced the pads, you want to be thinking about that now. Right, so we've completed the reset, we can close that. The printer should now be detected again and now we're going to read the waste ink counters. Now, as you can see, the counters are reset. So this has been successful and we can do some more printing uh, and get on with things. And that's really it. In terms of other functions or in terms of support and information within this utility, uh, this is a customized version for Print Potty. Um, so if you click on help and click on about, you will go to the support pages on the Printer Potty website. Similarly, we have our own manual, we have an FAQ, and if you need to report an error, it gives you an email form that you fill out with your problem. And in, please include the printer model information, um, what operating system you have on your computer, Windows 7, Vista 8, whatever, and obviously any other information about what you did, when, um, anything else that happened and any antivirus software that you're running on your machine that can sometimes be important because um, occasionally things do interfere like uh, firewalls um, stopping your utility from actually connecting with the internet.
so as I done, just send it off and we'll get back to you soon if we can.